mama. L love, hope is a rainbow. <laughs> Hold a mama. Got everything up there. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. You're a country music fan. I am like such I am. a huge yeah. fan of Lainey's. I could not oh, believe that we were here on the same day when I go, oh, who's going to be there? And they go, Lainey. Well, so I go, Lainey? I can Lainey? Be here. I was going to be here the same day. I'm very excited. <laughs> but you, I have to say, every time I'm at the Today Show, I cry inside for you because it's so early. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so <laughs> You have to wake up at like what two thirty three? Okay, I my alarm goes off at three, and no. then I have then I have one of those other alarms at three ten. But let me tell you something about the morning. This sounds weird. That hour between three and four is my only quiet hour of I get the day. That. So you know what? When I get up, I'm like this. I'll take my three to four, mm -hmm. like that three a.m. to four a.m. It's a shower. It's kind of getting myself like together. <laughs> Caffeine. It is, <laughs> it is really hard, though. I mean, getting up at 3 a.m. every single day is hard. I don't think I'd ever get used to it. So here's the truth. I do have one day that's totally and completely for me. And I heard I, about this. It's called Thankful Thursday. Yeah. It's my day. And I tell my kids, my kids who are seven and about to be five, yeah. I tell them that that's, that's mom's day, and mm -hmm. I will do my stuff, but... Afterwards, there's a place on 79th Street in Amsterdam that does like you're in the big lazy boy and they do the leg massage yes. for like 30 yes. bucks for 30. You like know, reflexology the one. or something? It's okay. all, like any moment that I can get to myself. Yeah. But I do have to say something. I did something did happen the other day that hasn't happened in two years. What? I had a date. I had a date. And I have to say, that's you. That's huge, even to be in a place to do that. But I, you know, but just, you know what it was? Just a date. It was nothing but a date. But you I have to say, it. it felt like, think about, do you ever think about going out on a date? Not at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. Not even a tiny I am really loving not having a man in my life. <laughs> like, it's just too hard. There's it's too, too much. much. What makes it too much? Just There's everything. all the jobs, yeah. plus the kids, <laughs> plus being present for the kids while you're there. Because, yes. you know, because yeah. sometimes we get, people will still email you. And I'm like, no, 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 we're home now. We're home now. We're not it's, doing this. It's yeah. over. Can so, I just <laughs> say one thing that you've done that I think is amazing? And I just, I'm going to put a word to it. You left your life that you had, and you did something that I'm calling, like, repotting. You pulled yourself up, girl, by your roots, and your roots were dangling in the air. Weren't you they? must have thought, like, am I going to land? What's going to happen? I might be dying. I might have been this medicated, be... yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you brought those roots to New York City. You stuck them in fertile ground. Look what has happened to you since yeah. you moved here. No, yeah. Everything has happened to you. Like, everything has changed. Yeah. I'm with, like, I feel like I'm watching this in slow motion. Yeah. You are going from, and I loved you before, and I thought you were amazing before, you are flourishing in a yeah, way that no, I, I did not see all those years ago. Yeah. And when I see you in the hall or when I see you on TV or when I see you right now, yeah. sitting across from you, yeah. give me those hands. Okay. I'm cold. Sitting <laughs> across from you, I don't care. Okay. You are flourishing, my Thank girl. You. And I'm so proud of you. It's called Hope is a Rainbow. I'm gonna ask you, why do we name it this? Obviously, Hope. Yeah, I got a little girl named Hope yeah. who, you know what's so funny about kids? You choose a name for them, and then you don't realize how they're going to become that name. Yeah. I didn't know when I named her Hope. I mean, I had been, of course, hoping and dreaming and praying for her. Yeah. And wishing one day she'd come. And, you know, if, for anyone who's an adoptive parent, what happens is your phone rings, and the person on the other end says, She's here. And that's like yeah. a birth. That's the yeah. closest I'll ever come to it. And it is so moving and beautiful. Yeah. And when Hopi uh, came into my life, I knew her name was Hope. And now, over the years, I've watched her personify that word. Yeah. I mean, it is, she's an amazing, both my daughters, Haley and Hope, are both amazing kids. Yeah. But Hope is the sunny side kid. She always, no matter what's going on, it's okay. We'll wait. Yeah. Don't worry, mom. She's four. Like, she's going to be five. And when I watch her, I am enamored. Aww. This book is based on her. It's about kids who see the sunny side or kids who want to. Yeah. If you're not the kid who is, who does. And it's like at the end of the crummiest day in the world, there's, you guess what? 
you get another one, girl. You get a whole nother yeah. day. It's for you. So and I think tomorrow and a new day. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's about optimism because life is, you know, you choose to see what you want. Like someone could look around in here and say, this is the best day of my life. And someone else might say, my gosh, I'm starving for lunch. When is this taping yeah. going to be over? <laughs> but everyone you can actually be both of those people. <laughs> or you could be yeah. both of them. But you get to choose your adventure. Yeah. And I think choose that that's adventure. kind of what the book's about. It's like you yeah. choose, you get to decide. I Did you feel any pressure? Because I know we both have a couple kids. And it's like I wrote a oh, couple I'm, books for River. I remember. And you wrote for Haley. And then, you, and then Remy was like, "Where's my book?" And I was like, <laughs> "Is that? Did yeah. you feel that yeah, pressure and hope?" She was yeah. like, Haley, "Haley's got that one. Is mine coming?" I know. I'm like, yes, sweetie. I'm like, "Oh God." I feel horrible. I feel guilty. I know. I feel horrible because Remy. Remy does yeah, Remy Remy's like, "Where's my Where book?" Does and he I was have like, one yet? "Well, I started writing one, but it was actually young adult, so it's like a bigger. Oh. It's like more of like a novel rather than like a." Okay. So, yeah. So, but but yeah, he's still waiting on that one. <laughs> I was like, and I was like. I mean, there's songs for her. There's like, there's a song for yours because I did it for for Haley. Yeah, but then just but so you guys know, I wrote a book and I asked Kelly. I go, Kelly, is there anything you can do with this book? Put it to music, and it's called "I've Loved You Since Forever." It's... Kelly was like this. Oh, okay. She was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds later, she goes, "It's ready." I go, "It's ready." What do you mean it's ready? She played "I've Loved You Since Forever." That song. Not only I love is it one of the most beautiful songs. It charted because it's Kelly. Well, it's Kelly and, written. It's and, and number two, number two, I was at a beach bar one day, toes in the sand. Was this when you called me? Or yes. Did a video? Okay. Drinking, and the guitar guy who's playing James Taylor plays Kelly's the song, and I go, "How do you?" He goes, "I love this song. I heard it." I'm like, "Oh my God, that's the song from Kelly." I go, "I heard it." Her. <laughs> <laughs> it's your song. It's cool. The same. The same. <laughs> so what what do you think you have learned from your daughters? Because I feel like I've I've learned more about me, honestly, through, and being a listener. Honestly, it was a big thing for yeah. me. Yeah, I've just learned to be present. Like mm -hmm. sometimes my, you know, when I talk to my daughters and I look them in the eye, like so often, like Haley's eyes will up when we're talking about something important. Yeah. And I think to myself, my God, just slow down, man. You get this moment. This is it. And this, like where we are today, this will never be duplicated. This will, this comes one time. So stay present. Yeah. I agree, I yeah. agree. Okay, so what have you learned? This is season five, right, of your podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Making Space. Mm -hmm. What have you, what have you learned doing that? Okay, just having first all of this all, different conversations. I love this whole podcast series. It's about what we were just saying, hitting pause on your life and taking a minute for you. Yeah. So I get to learn from all of these really amazing people. We have, you know, Savannah's, who I know was sitting with you. Savannah has a, has a podcast with me. Yeah, she's amazing. But each person who I speak with talks about how they stop down. I like to know people's morning routines, how they start their day, how they end their day, and how they make space for themselves. Every single person I interview is incredible. I interviewed one guy who said, every seven years, reintroduce yourself to your partner because you're different. So. This yeah. is, I used to like eating at Chili's. I don't like it anymore. Yeah. Stop making, stop making me go. I don't yeah. like it. I don't want to go. I'm different now. Yeah. But it's like reminding your yeah. spouse, your partner, I used to be this way, but I've evolved. You're not the same person you were as a teenager in your 30s and your 40s well, and your 60s. Well, hopefully we all continually grow. Yes. Yeah. So it's like reminding those around you. You know how they're like, you're not like you used to be. You're like, well, hell no. <laughs> yeah. I am a new and approved version. Yeah. <laughs> you are. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. We all are. Yes. I think you want yes. that. You don't yes. want to be stagnant. No, we don't. We don't. Yeah. So we, I learned a lot. So I hope you guys tune in. It's got we got some great guests on. I'm I'm stealing your idea. I'm not gonna yeah. be Thursdays. I can't because I work Thursdays. <laughs> but I want Freedom Fridays. Freedom Fridays! Freedom Fridays shall be mine. That's what I'm calling them. Let's have a date. Yeah, you're thankful, and I want Freedom Fridays. I'll, I'll, exactly. I'll, take, I'll, I'll come take... to the Lazy Boy chair. This is my vibe, I'll girl. meet you there. Yeah. I'll meet you and there. we can. And I heard you're also the one that leaves the quickest at parties. I'm the same one. I arrive early, oh, and I'm then the I leave one. way too early. By the way, the host is like, "Why are you here? The party's not for 15 more minutes." I'm like, "Because I like to be here early, and yeah. I meet everybody, and Let's then get it in there, say hi, and then I, bye. I'm leaving while people are coming. Hey, yeah. girl, bye. It's too much. <laughs> the older we get, the smaller your kind of group yes. is because it's like you want the authentic. Authentic, real, you want yes. to invest. I'm not good at small talk like that. It's it's oh. very hard for me. Yeah, me anyway. too.